I'm going to be looking behind the headlines in the June employment figures. Overall, this month's job news is good, but there's some gloomy news about the public sector, and it's getting gloomy faster than was expected. But to start with the headlines, in the last 12 months, employment's gone up 376,000, and unemployment's come down 57,000, and the government will be very pleased with that. But the worrying news is about what's been happening to jobs in the public sector. The government and their Office for Budget Responsibility only expected about 20,000 um, civil service and other public sector redundancies in the past year. But the Office for National Statistics has just published new figures on public sector employment which show that already 143,000 public sector workers have lost their jobs. Now that's a lot more than was expected. The largest cuts so far have been in local authorities where 88,000 people have lost jobs. In central government, the total is 37,000. 24,000 people have lost their jobs in education. Even in the NHS, which is supposed to be protected, there's been 10,000 jobs gone. Now, what's particularly worrying about these figures is that they're for the, for the year ending at the end of March. Now, all the job cuts that were being announced last year that hit the headlines, nearly all of those don't start taking effect till April. In other words, this 143,000 is before the really big job cuts hit in. There's still tens of thousands more public sector workers going to be losing their jobs. And whether the labour market can cope with that is really open to doubt. Thank you.